Hi friends, today let us see an interesting topic of interfacing 8085 with LED display. This is a very fundamental and useful interfacing technique to display anything available in the microprocessor, say a result or an information can be displayed in a simple LED display. Let us see what is an LED display. An LED display is nothing but seven independent light emitting diodes assembled in a single frame just like an eight symbol, two boxes. These LEDs, when we energize these LEDs, the light is emitted. That's why we call it as this LED as a light emitting diodes. Suppose we want to energize or light this particular this LED, we have to energize this one. Likewise, you can energize A segment. The segments are named as A, the right hand side, B, C, and then D, E, F in the left hand side, and the middle is a G. This this LED display can be used to display a number or even character also. You can see the numbers and character in some numbers B as a small letter alone. Like that you can display any number or a character. And also there is an optional uh, 8 LED which is used to display the decimal point that is not available in all LED display panels. In some panels, if you want to display the numbers, some numbers may be in a fractional part, decimal part also. For that case, we can use the decimal point also. That is the eighth LED. Okay, let us see how to energize this seven segment LED display. See, we have A to G and a decimal point. This is a diagram of a common cathode LED. That means the ground is the negative side of the LED is grounded. That is a common cathode. Here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, D, P. Eight connections are used to energize the individual LEDs. Suppose we want to emit light in A, we have to give positive voltage in A. Here B and C are energized. Let us see how it is energized. If we give a positive voltage here, you switch on the B here through a resistance, this B is displayed. Similarly, C you can display. In that way, you can display any LED, any diode in that frame. So that different numbers and different characters can be Arrived. Now let us see how it is possible. We have to form this LED hexadecimal code to display a number. You see, this is A, B, C, D like this. Zero is displayed here. Zero means the diode A, B, C, D, E, F should be energized. The G must be given low voltage or zero voltage. So that zero will be displayed. You see, the G alone grounded or zero level, all other pins are energized. This is the binary number. We get the equivalent hexadecimal number 3F. If we output 3F from the microprocessor to the LED display, this 3F code will display 0. That's why we call it as this is a LED code. 3F is to display 0. Similarly, let us see one character also. This is a D. Here, except A and F are energized. You see, A and F, all other diodes are energized. Let us see the equivalent of this. 101, the binary equivalent of the uh, hex is 5, this is E. 
So this is a code. If we send out 5E in the microprocessor, the D will be displayed in the LED. So these, so these are the LED codes we see. Normally, conversion of this code is not easy. To program, to convert these codes are normally difficult. So normally people are using electronic devices, electronic circuits to convert this. We use one device called a 74LS48. This is a 7 segment decoder IC. This is a 4 inputs, 8 outputs. That means, in order to display one character or one decimal point, one decimal, we need 4 binary bits, that is 1 nibble. These 4 binary bits are connected to A, B, C and D as the input to this particular IC. This is a 74LS48 IC. This particular IC decodes these 4 binary bits into a 7 segment LED code that we just saw earlier. That process is automatically done by this particular IC. This IC consists of a large number of logic gates and input buffers also. These buffers are used to is used to hold the data for some time or because the microprocessor will not hold the data. This particular IC has to hold the data, then only the light will be emitted continuously. This is a 4 to 8 decoder. 4 bits or binary bits are given as input to A, B, C, D and the 8 outputs are given out. Now let us see how to interface this or LED segment display with the microprocessor through this decoder IC 74LS48. This is our microprocessor 8085. This is connected with the 8255. This is the IO port. We cannot connect a microprocessor to the external world directly. We need a port. Here we use 8255. In 8255 we have three ports. Here we use only the port B. Only the four pins we needed. Port B 0, 1, 2, 3. These four pins are given as the input for the 74LS48 A, B, C, D here. Now this 74LS38 decodes the binary into its LED code which is connected to the LED 7 segment LED display. Here, port B is programmed as output port. This is a very important thing. Because the port A, port B, port C should be converted as an input or output port. We need to convert this as an output port. In the output port, there are 8 pins. We use only 4 pins. Port B 0, port B 1, 2 and 3. These 4 pins alone used. The BCD number, actually the BCD number is stored in the accumulator of the microprocessor and is sent out to the 8255 through these 4 pins. And this data is decoded by the 74LS48. This IC decoded it and the decoded data is sent to the 7 segment LED. The LED is displayed the particular number. This is the idea of the interfacing. Now let us see how it works. Let us see an example. We display numbers from 9 to 0 with a small delay. Let us see what are the instructions for that. This is the common instruction we use in every program, whenever we use a sub-program. This is to initialize the stack pointer. This is the 98 is a familiar code which is stored in the accumulator. This is used to program the A to 5A port A as output, port B as output. This is the 83 is the address of the control register of A to 5A. We send 98 and store the 98 into the control register so that the, the port B is set as output. 
Now, 9 is stored in the accumulator. This is the first number to be displayed, right? Then, we send out this 9 through the port B. The address of port B is 81. So, this 81, through this 81, we send the data 9. Now, we call a delay. This delay is normally to see the number. Otherwise, we will not see the number. The microprocessors very quickly display the numbers. We cannot see 9 in our eyes. So, we use a small delay so that the number will be displayed for a certain time. Now, the content of the accumulator is decremented. Previously, it was 9. Now, after this instruction, the A becomes 8. It is tested here. Jump on no zero. If the condition is true, this instruction loops here. Again, the 8 is displayed through this instruction. Delay and again decremented. And this process repeated so many times till A becomes 0. When A becomes 0, this condition fails. So, the instruction goes to next line. That is the last line of the program. Stop the program. Now, let us see the sub-program. We use a certain number. We store 10 in the B register. We decrement the register. And this is the testing condition. If the register, if the content of B is not zero, the control goes to this line again. Again the B is decremented. B becomes, this process repeated so many times till B becomes zero. When B becomes zero, this condition fails and the program goes to next line. That is the last line of the program. So this program will display 9 to 0 continuously with a small delay that we give here. So this program is can be used as a counter also. This program can be used for counting applications and other applications also. Now I give an assignment to you. Use the same system scheme to display numbers from 0 to 9. Previously we saw 9 to 0. We converted to 0 to 9. In the 7 segment LED display. Using 74 LS4 a decoder driver. Here also I specify a delay of 100 microsecond. In the previous exercise we did not find the delay time. You need to find the delay time accurately. 100 microsecond the number or the character the 9 or the number to be displayed. And also, you change the port. Here, port A, use port A for the purpose. Then, the previous exercise, we used B, port B. Here, you have to use port A. Use this assignment. Do the assignment and submit to me. I hope you would have enjoyed this interfacing technique. Thank you very much for uh, listening or viewing this video. Thank you very much.